Good evening, everybody. So we're going to do the live video and we're going to announce our winner um, from a few days ago. And we're going to talk about dry shampoo today for our product. So what we're going to talk about is the AG Tinted Dry Shampoo. It comes in five colors. So there's a brunette one, a black one, light brown one, blonde one, and then the original white one. So the AG Dry Shampoo is reasonably priced. It's a big bottle and uh, it works great for getting the grease out. So just to recap how to use dry shampoo, spray it in your hair where it's greasy, um, let it sit for a few minutes. Oh, thanks Tallulah, that's my Sunday hair. Um, so you're gonna spray it in, let it sit, absorb all the oil, and then you wanna take a towel and rub it out. That will make sure that you um, don't get heavy because if you leave the spray in what happens is it can keep doing oils and keep absorbing it gets kind of thick and more heavy if that makes any sense at all so what I did to kind of show you was I sprayed the colors on this paper towel so the jet black brunette light brown blonde and then the white one is on here as well but you can't see it because it is white so they are tinted and they also are going to absorb your grease. So you're never going to end up with a white chalky residue if you have dark hair like me. So those are the dry shampoos. And then we're going to do a beach wave tutorial. Lindsay from um, Suncoast Glow Studio, she suggested that we do some beach waves. So I'm just going to move these out of my way. There. And I'm going to get our little mannequin. Thank you, Tara. Have to make sure I'm touching the right button because the last thing we want is to you know have this thing fall on my head live that would be bad okay so I've curled her whole head so the trick to doing beach waves is that you have to curl it with a wave not with a curl so I'm gonna explain what that is so I've only left two sections here so that we can do that at the top so we curled this side back, we're gonna curl this side that way. So you wanna take um, kind of large sections. I'm using a tighter curling iron, a smaller one. This is a three quarter inch Hot Tools curling iron. It goes up to 450, um, has an on and off, and a swivel. So the cord just kinda flows with you and doesn't tangle. Um, I love the Hot Tools curling irons. I find they work really, really well, and they last really well, um, and they get really hot. So you want to take the hair and then you're going to wrap it around the curling iron like it's a curling wand. And that is how you're going to get a wave instead of a curl. So if you notice um, how I'm putting the barrel right up to her scalp, that's just going to give you extra volume. So remember we talked about the on the base thing. Um, we are on the base and we're giving like nice big height with our curls. So there's one. So she's already been prepped. She has thermal protector in her hair and that's going to give her hold. So, and then two, nope, she's got a little layer there. So I always hold it until the heat goes all the way through the section. You can kind of um, tap through the hair and see if the heat goes all the way through. And then it looks like I might even have missed a chunk here. So let's grab that. It shouldn't take long. I didn't want to wrap that one little small section by itself because then it would be too curly. All right, so she's completely curled now. I just pre-curled her to make it a little bit quicker for us. So you can see she just has like a wave. You can get the same results with a curling wand. I just wanted to show that you can actually use a curling iron for the same thing. All right, so then to get it to look like beach waves, what you want to do you just want to make sure it's completely cooled because I remember we talked about that if you want it to set it's still a little bit warm up here so I'm going to start at the back um, hopefully you can see good so you want to have a wide tooth comb 
it's better than your hands. And then you're gonna comb it through. From the top to the bottom. And if you've put the curls in properly and let them set, you don't need to worry about them holding. As long as you're using like a really good quality hot tool and you're getting to the temperature, you should be fine. So you can see those ones are the brushed out ones. This is the side that's not brushed out. It should be cold by now. Yeah, so let it completely cool before you're... Oh, hi, Anna, I can see you. We're just doing a beach wave tutorial. All right, so we'll do this side. The uh, thing about using a comb instead of your hands is it makes less frizz. So after you get her brushed out, what you're gonna wanna use is some dry wax. So I have the Evo dry wax spray. I really love this for curls. It's kind of like a hairspray, but it's also kind of like a wax, but you don't have to get it through your fingers um, and it dries right away. So it's really good for piecing out um, curls and giving a nice little texture. So I'm just gonna Get her head on here. Then you always want to shake your products really good. Otherwise what will happen is all the product settles at the bottom and it won't mess out very well. So this is not a hairspray, it is a dry wax. So once you've dry waxed it, then you can brush through again. And that's just gonna give your hair the texture and the pieciness and a little bit of hold. So it's perfect for the beachy look. And that is pretty much how you do beachy waves so if you ever get it where it's too curly and you're like oh my gosh I feel like Shirley Temple it will normally drop but if it's not dropping um, fast enough you can literally just pull the curl out with your hands straighten it out and spray a little bit more of the dry wax on and it's just gonna deflate it a little bit and then we're just going to follow her up with some hairspray. Never heard of dry wax. Oh my goodness. Love dry wax. Um, a lot of men like it too because they can use it in their hair and they don't have to get their fingers dirty with product. A lot of men really like hairspray as well. They're just too nervous. There you go. So she's got some beachy waves. The thing about uh, beach waves is you just want them to be messy and volumey. So you can fluff them up. There you are. Alrighty, so that is how you do um, beach waves. And you can pair the beach waves with, you know, a top knot or a braid, twist a piece back. Um, you, it's really endless. Beach waves are always really good to do second day with your hair. The dirtier your hair, the better. The more texture you have. Alrighty. I'm just going to put this back up and then I'll announce the winner here. Our stand gets a lot of use here at the salon, so I'm like worried it's gonna fall apart on us one day. Okay, oh yeah, and I forgot to do the shine spray. So this is the Lanza Color Illuminating um, Shine Spray, and it's amazing, it smells delicious. 
and it really, really makes the hair shiny. See how shiny she is now? It smells like Sharpie. <laughs> there you go. Like Bella says it smells like Sharpies. Well, I think Sharpies smell good, so. <laughs> Alrighty, so then we're going to announce our winner. So our winner today is going to win the AG Color Saver Shampoo Mini, Color Saver Conditioner Mini, and the Redken Forceful Hairspray. So congratulations, um, Genevieve Dixon, you've won. So to enter to win, leave a comment below, and we're going to keep entering, and we're going to keep doing this um, all the way until Christmas Eve. If you guys have any ideas of stuff you want to learn about or tutorials, let me know and I will keep doing them. Bye guys!